My friend, Lassie. Well, Lassie was the friend of every boy and girl growing up in the 1950s and early 60s. I'm Randy Andrew, and as an entertainer, I've had the privilege of meeting and working with some very talented people over the years. Back in my younger days, I was a fan of Lassie on TV. I watched the show every week in my hometown, Terre Haute, Indiana, with my two Cocker Spaniels, Jingles and Nicky. When Lassie came to television, I was six years old, and I watched every week as Jeff Miller got into trouble, and every week he was saved by Lassie. Jeff Miller was played by Tommy Reddick. Tommy Reddick as Jeff Miller. And, of course, Lassie. Tommy began his career when he was six years old, traveling the country on stage with Mary Martin in Annie Get Your Gun. After that, he appeared in several movies, including the classic River of No Return with Robert Mitchum and Marilyn Monroe. But when he got the role as Jeff on the series Lassie in 1954, he became a household name. After three years, Tommy was 15 years old, and it was time for a new master for Lassie. John Provost took over the role as Timmy Martin in 1957. Don't cry, Timmy. I'm going to leave Lassie with you. She's better off on a farm. You need her more than I do. Goodbye, girl. Let's go. Thanks, Jeff. From that day on, every time John Provost and Tommy Reddick would get together, instead of saying goodbye, John would always say to Tommy, Thanks for the dog, Jeff. John Provost would play Timmy for 249 episodes of Lassie before he, too, would outgrow the role in 1964. John continued acting in TV appearances and a few movies, including The Property is Condemned with Natalie Wood and Robert Redford and The Computer Wore Tennis Shoes with Kurt Russell. About the same time, Tommy Reddick was still acting in TV westerns and a short-lived TV series called Never Too Young with fellow former child star Tony Dow of Leave it to Beaver. During the 1970s, Tommy got in trouble with illegal drugs. He was arrested and convicted of marijuana cultivation in 1973, and a few years later, he was charged with cocaine possession, of which he was exonerated. In 1981, I was doing a radio talk show with my wife, Linda. I saw that Tommy was going to be a guest on the afternoon John Davidson show. John asked Tommy questions about his career and, of course, Lassie. But when he asked Tom what he was up to these days, Tommy responded, I'm running a recreational drug workshop. <laughs> the smile came off John Davidson's face. He looked into the camera and said, we'll be back after these messages. When he returned, Tommy Reddick was gone. I wondered what Tommy was going to say and I thought our radio show would be a great place for him to talk about it. I got in touch with Tommy and invited him to be on our show. It was a very interesting hour, and lots of listeners calling in with questions and comments. Several months later, my old broadcasting boss, Los Angeles talk show host Sweet Dick Whittington, called me with an idea for a television pilot. And soon we were planning the Randy Andrew Traveling Show. I would sing a little and interview guests from the areas we would travel to. We again invited Tommy to be on the show, and he was happy to do it. In preparation for the show, Dick and I attended one of his workshops in Los Angeles. 
Here's a clip from our show, taped in January of 1982, when Tommy had just turned 40 years old. You, uh, you were probably uh, one of, if not the most famous child actor in the 1950s. Well, we had a very highly rated show. We won an Emmy for the best children's show in 1955, and we were the second highest rated show right behind I Love Lucy. You're a role figure, a role model. You are, are telling us that it is okay to use drugs. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's okay, and I'm not saying it's not okay. Please don't assume that I'm saying it's okay by my absence of saying that it's not okay. Okay, do you see the legalization of drugs? Yes, because we're spending, we spent last year more money on recreational drugs than we did on foreign oil. And I would like to see that money brought within our economy. While I was working in Las Vegas through the rest of the 1980s, Tommy had gotten into the early stages of home computers and had written several books on the subject. Through the years, Tommy and John Provost would be reunited, mostly at Lassie reunions. In 1989, John was cast as Steve McCullough on The New Lassie Show. And in 1992, Tommy and John would be reunited for the final time as their Lassie characters, Jeff Miller and Timmy Martin. Professor Miller, this is the McCulloch's dog, Lassie. She's very bright. <laughs> Boy, she really likes you. I had a Lassie of my own once. She was very special. Hi, I'm Professor Miller. I'm Will McCulloch, and this is my Uncle Steve. Jeff? Timmy? I can't believe this. Timmy Martin. I haven't been called that in years. I was adopted. Now it's Steve McCulloch. Is this Lassie's great-granddaughter? Lassie. I never thought I'd ever see another one like mine. Four years later, in February of 1996, Tommy Reddick died of heart failure in his Marina Del Rey home. He was only 54 years old. I thought when we lost Tommy, that would be my only connection with Lassie until 1999 when Linda and I were attending a Hollywood show and we met Lassie in person. Not only that, but John Provost, Timmy Martin himself, was there and we had a long talk about Tommy Reddick. John's wife, Lori Jacobson, is also well known as an author with several books about Hollywood stars' history. TV dinner recipes from former child stars, and of course, Timmy's in the Well, the John Provost story, which John explains in all of his 249 episodes of Lassie, Timmy never fell in a well. Yet, that's the phrase most people say referring to Timmy and Lassie. Over the years, Linda and I would see John and Lori at Hollywood shows, and in 2018, we attended the dedication of John Provost's childhood home in the city of Pomona, California. The Lassie House was John's home when he was cast as Timmy. I had a nice talk with John and Lori in the living room before we toured the house. A few months later, the Hollywood Museum, an entire floor of the building, was opened honoring former child stars. Look closely in this photo and you'll recognize famous people from uh, many of the TV shows, including My Three Sons, The Waltons, The Mickey Mouseketeers, Little House on the Prairie, The Rifleman, and of course, Lassie. Here we are that day with John Provost, me, Linda, and Lori. Thanks for the memories. Thank you, Tommy Reddick. It's Jeff Miller. Rest in peace, my friend. And thank you, John Provost. It's Timmy. And, of course, my friend, our friend, everybody's friend, Lassie. <laughs>